Here is the secret to winning on a fade route against off man coverage. Okay, what up, wideouts? My name's Coach Mags. I've been coaching the receiver position for about seven years now, and I'm here to help answer any questions you have, help you get better at receiver, help you reach whatever goals, goals you have as you play receiver. So today we're going to talk about, like I said, how to win on a fade against off man coverage. Well, first, as a receiver, we have to recognize, okay, that it is man because that's going to help us figure out what kind of technique we're going to use, how we're going to run this route, okay? Now, the reason why we know this is man is because at first, the DB starts slightly outside, and then you'll see him scoot in, he's off, and he's inside. If you have a defender or right, who's playing off of you, and they're inside, there's a very high chance that it's man. My guess is that this is like a two-man, okay, because you'll see another defender come in towards the end, okay? So we've recognized that we have man defense. He's inside of us. That tells us that this should be man, okay? This is pretty much pre-snap. He stays there post-snap. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to make sure that we press onto these toes, Okay, and close the space. Now, the reason why we want to do that and we want to attack the toes is because if we stay upfield, okay, now this limits the amount of routes that we can run, which will really help out the DB. Now they go, okay, if he's staying outside, he could run an out, he could run a comeback, right? He could maybe stay out here for that fade, okay, and that helps him be ready to break for anything outside and really just lets him know that you're staying outside. But if we attack the toes, okay, now we can run any route we want in the book. Okay. Now we can run our dig. Now we can run our post dig. Now we can run a bang eight. Now we can run a post. Now we can still go outside, do a bunch of different things. So that's why it's important to make sure that we attack the toes. And now here, you might be saying, well, he's not directly on the toes. He's still kind of outside. But that's only because Bradbury here is keeping his leverage. He's being disciplined. And that's what good DBs are taught. They're taught to keep their leverage. That's one of the better corners in the NFL. So if you go in, that means he's going to scoot in because that's where he's supposed to be. But ex but this is exactly why we do we work this technique of getting onto the toes because now we're running a fade. If he scoots in, that's perfect for us. That means we have more room out here. All right, so that's why we still attack the toes. All right, slightly go inside. And if he keeps his leverage, that's perfectly fine, right? Because I don't mean other things are open. Okay, because that's defense, right? They run it a certain way to cover a certain thing or a certain pattern, a certain route. Okay, so stem inside. And then now look, like I said, because we did that, because we got onto the toes, we closed the distance. Now look at how much space we have for the feed. Okay, now we just got to make a play, which we do with the safety coming over. All right, so that is the key. If this video helped you out, Please give me a like, comment, right? That really helps the channel a lot. If you have any more questions, find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Coach underscore Max. I'm more than happy to help you out because remember, I'm here to help you reach your goals. All right, so that's all I got for you today. I will see you next time.